Well, the weather outside is well, weather. <laughs> nah, man, I, I don't, I don't believe in time or a watch or anything. Yeah, man, nah, I can just look on that thing on my phone. <laughs> well, if you had to put a number to it, I guess, uh, what, forty-three? Ugh, I'm old. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Just push up. <laughs> You're just laying there. Just just push up. And now you're doing too much. Do do less. Just push up. I'm sorry. I just watched uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And I am just buzzing with these little uh, little movie quotes that make me a giggle. All right. But on a serious note, let's get into it, shall we? You can see in the top right of your screen, it says PTS with the division logo and my name. That means we are in the public test server. So, before I even get into this, I want to explain this is a public test server, and it will not go live until October. So, everything I'm going to show you is not going to be in the live game until October, with the start of Year 5, Season 2, also known as Title Update 19. Now, with that out of the way, let's, uh, let's get into it, shall we? What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Well, Division 2 PTS video. There we go. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But in today's video, we're going to go over the brand new exotic chess piece, The Collector. So I hope you enjoy. But I do know that a lot of you don't want to be spoiled. So consider this your spoiler warning. This is your brand new exotic chess piece. This is called The Collector, all right? Now, The Collector is going to be in your seasonal reward track. So this and the new exotic LMG, The Iron Lung, both of those will be your season two exotics for year five. Now, with that being said, let's uh, look at the uh, details here. So it comes with a weapon damage core. It comes with crit chance and crit hit damage, everything that people like. And then it comes with this talent, Hoarder. Now, Hoarder does several things. So here we go. It gives you plus three more grenades. It gives you a 50% grenade radius. It gives you 35% grenade damage. And then you get an extra... 25% grenade damage if you hurt somebody with a grenade and not kill them. Now, it does say at the very bottom that it will automatically regenerate grenades every 60 seconds. And it says up to two grenades. So it says it will regenerate grenades. Okay? So we're going to test that part out as well. Now, right off the bat, let's look at how cool... This uh, freaking chess piece looks like. All right, let me go into, uh, what is that, photo mode. So we'll do that. There we go. And then you can check out this new chess piece. Because it will not let you zoom in like you can the weapons. So here is the new exotic chess piece. It's called the Collector. Now, again, it's only the front part of the chess piece. If I go to the back, doo -doo -doo, there's nothing. It's blank. But looking at the front, that's where all the details are. You have the detonation cord. You have hot stuff. You have all of these different grenades with funny faces. And then, of course, you have that little grenade LED there at the top. Um, but, yeah, not too shabby. Let, let me know what you think um, about that uh, in the comments. What, what do you think about the aesthetic for this, uh, for this chess piece? All right. Now, looking at the grenade part of this, okay? I went ahead and put together a explosive damage build. Uh, what's going on here? There we go. Now, because of that, we have a lot of damage on our grenade. We have 2.5 million damage on our concussion grenade. But, but, is it even worth it? So let, let's throw a few grenades. I'll show you the regeneration patterns, and we'll talk about if this is even going to be worth it. 
Now, in... Mm, I, I'm not sure. In PvE, how would throwing grenades better your PvE experience? And I think that's what it boils down to, right? Is, will this increase your overall experience in the game? Will this add to your experience in the game? Now, just sitting here at the firing range, you can see I have 10 grenades total, right? I have 10 grenades, and all of them are concussion, 2.5 million damage. Now, again, that is with all the explosive damage. If I go to my stats, I am at 40% explosive damage. Now, this is what bumps up all of those grenade numbers. Now, the actual talent for this exotic doesn't do anything. It'll give you more damage if you hurt someone with a grenade, but besides that, it does nothing else except for regenerate a grenade uh, after the fact. So everything else is just for your grenades. This is only for grenades. So if I were to throw a grenade, let's see if I can get a damage number on this uh, elite right here. So let's see. I don't even think it hit him. All right, that says 1.96. And then let's hit him again because it said it'll give us more damage, right? 1.98. Let's see if we get any more damage. 1.97. And then uh, this is just for his health. Oh, what's going on here? Throw the grenade, bro. Thank you. I don't know. This PTS has seemed to be a little laggy. Like, really laggy. And that one's 1 1.9, so it actually lowered there. I guess the uh, damage went back down. And then that one was over 2. Interesting. Very interesting. So now I'm down to 3 grenades, right? Now, in theory, because of what the grenade talent said, right? The grenade talent says, do to do, do automatically regenerates grenades every 60 seconds up to two grenades. Again, it says automatically regenerate grenades. That's plural. That's more than one. And it says every 60 seconds, and it says up to two grenades. That, again, that means more than one. All right? So we're sitting here at three grenades. Let's see if I can get them to regenerate here. And just remember, it's going to be like the gunner specialization. It's just going to appear out of nowhere. Um, let's see. I would want to say it's been close to a minute. But it doesn't tell you, like, when that regeneration process even begins. Because I started out with ten grenades, and I threw seven. So that means I haven't regenerated any grenades yet. So this whole, like, unlimited grenades, it's seeming to not be the case, right? Because I am in combat, you see? I'm in combat, I'm getting my adrenaline rush active, all of this. And there are no grenades being added to my character. I'm still sitting here at three. Still sitting here at three. So does that mean I have to be below two grenades just to get two grenades? What, what does this whole regeneration thing mean? Because it's not it's not giving them back to me. And you can see I'm, I'm still at three grenades here. So if I go back, we'll read this one more time. So you get more grenades. You get more grenade radius, more grenade damage. And then you get extra grenade damage if you hurt someone in the blast. And it will automatically regenerate grenades every 60 seconds up to two. So does that mean I'm supposed to be getting two grenades right now? Or does that mean I have to be at zero and it's only going to give me up to two? See what I mean? Because I'm still at three. I haven't moved anywhere. So what's the point of having 10 capacity if I can't even get back up to 10 capacity for my grenades? You see what I mean? So let's try to reset the grenade numbers. Let's see here. Boop -ba doo and then go back, right? Would that reset it? 
Nope, I'm still at three, so I have to actually fast travel. But you can see how the re regeneration part is not... It's not working as it the description would seem. So this whole, like, unlimited grenade sounded really, really, really cool on paper. But once we get here and actually, like, test it out, it's not working as advertised. So we have ten grenades. You can see this, right? Now it said it will regenerate grenades every minute. So let's throw two grenades and see if I can get any of them back. A one grenadio, two grenadio. All right. So I just threw you two. I'm at eight grenades. So we'll see. Now another part of this update is a uh, mad bomber. They uh, they made a perfectly mad bomber to go with this uh, exotic, which is crazy to me because you cannot combine the two. So you you sort of made two competitors for the same item during the same season. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Because the perfectly mad bomber has more range and it will refund your grenade as long as you get a kill. This one, it doesn't seem to regenerate your grenade really at all. And I mean, we're sitting here, you can see my TTK timer. Like I'm keeping this timer on. And boom, it's been it's been a minute. So, and I haven't regenerated any grenades at all. None. So, I guess we could try to just throw all the grenades and then see if I get two back. But if that's the case, then that means the only way you'll ever get your uh, grenades to regenerate is by throwing all ten of your grenades. That, that kind of seems to be uh, not working as intended. We'll see. And the boom. So now we are at zero grenades. It was about four seconds on the TTK. So we'll wait. But now I'm at zero grenades. And it said it would regenerate grenades every minute. That's more than one. So I don't know. I was testing this during the live stream the other day as soon as this PTS went live. And we were having problems with this chess piece then as well. And if this is how it's going to operate in the real game, it's not going to be worth it at all. It will not be worth it. Because you can clearly see I am in combat. The TTK timer is still running. I'm still getting my adrenaline rush procs. Everything is still working as advertised. But I am not getting two grenades. All right, so, oh, I just got one grenade. Okay. So after a little bit over a minute, I, I received one grenade. But I was at zero. And it said it would give me up to two. So is that just two total? Like, no matter what, I only get two? So I have to throw all ten grenades, wait a minute to get one grenade back? How is that... How is that a good idea? That's a horrible mechanic for this exotic. And this, in my opinion, makes it worse than Mad Bomber. Because at least with Mad Bomber, if I get a kill, it automatically refunds it to me. Where this one, I would have to throw 10 grenades and then wait a full minute just to get one. And look at this. We're about to hit two minutes on the uh, TTK. We did receive one grenade. Let's see if it'll give us two. It did. It gave us two grenades. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to throw one of them, get down to one, because it's looking like it will only give you two if you are completely out of grenades. So we'll wait for this one to hit, and then we'll see if it'll give us back up to two. But that's looking like that's all it does. And if this is the case, it's not going to be worth it. I'm telling you right now. Uh, you're, you're going to be sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting when you could be running different exotics helping out your team in a real way. I don't know. 
unless you're just trying to throw 10 grenades and then just go die and reset, that would be the only other way of doing that. But that would involve you having to go out and die and reset. Why? I don't know. Let me know what you think in chat and in the comments. We're about to hit 60 on the TTK to see if it'll give me another grenade. But uh, it's seeming like it will only do this if you are down below two grenades. So the description should read something a little bit different. There we go. Uh, I just got a grenade before 60 seconds. What? Did you see that? I received a grenade before the 60 seconds? Uh, okay. Uh, it's... This is way too long to wait for one grenade at a time. It, it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. When it says automatically regenerate grenades every sixty seconds up to two. What's the up to two? So I can only have two capacity. Eh, I don't know. I think this one should uh, be looked at. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, but I just uh, showed you what it would be like with a full explosive damage build with armor. I have 1.4 million armor on this build, and and I have 59 crit chance and 153 crit hit damage on an SMG. 1.4 million armor with max explosives damage, and I'm able to throw this grenade and hit you for you know 2.5 mil. But what is the point if it only regenerates one per minute? That doesn't make any sense. Up to two. I, I don't know. Yeesh. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. This is the brand new exotic chess piece. It is called The Collector. And uh, it doesn't really do much collecting, does it? I don't know. Again, hit the like, subscribe. You know the YouTube spiel. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace out.